Hey, this is Stacy from Let's Cook, y'all. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, welcome. We're really glad you're here. We hope you like what you'll see and you'll hit that red subscribe button. This is a new cooking video. This is a recipe I have made for many years that I love, Tim tolerates. I think it's more girly food. It's a take a riff on P.F. Chang's lettuce wraps. They're Asian lettuce wraps. I have made them using several kinds of protein. I have made them using the Morningstar veggie replacement crumbles. I've made them using ground turkey, which I'm gonna do a little bit today for Tim. I have used ground chicken. I have used regular beef, and I have also used leftover grilled teriyaki chicken and just done the sauce and tossed with the already cooked meat. It's very versatile. I will have the recipe linked at our website along with the changes that I make. I'm a spice wimp, so I do not add the Asian chili hot sauce that the recipe calls for. I add just a dash of sriracha, and then Tim has to add his spicy stuff at the end. I do not have several of the ingredients. I have made them without it. I've not had this recipe fail, so I really don't think you can mess it up. It does call for bib lettuce, which I've got over washing in the sink to wrap up the lettuce wraps in, some kind of protein. It calls for green onion. I don't have it, so I'm gonna use yellow. My addition is to add a little bit of carrot for a little bit more um, crunch and vegetables. Fresh garlic, I'm gonna use jarred. It calls for pickled ginger. I'm gonna use this jarred refrigerated ginger that I keep on hand. You'll need some soy sauce, or I also always use liquid aminos. You'll need some hoisin sauce. And it does call, like I said, for an Asian hot chili sauce. I am gonna use a dash of sriracha, some rice wine vinegar, and some sesame oil. I'm also gonna make a dipping sauce that uses the soy sauce and these last three, the rice vinegar, some hot sauce, and some sesame oil. So let me show you how we make some Asian lettuce wraps. Earlier in the afternoon, I took my head of hydroponic lettuce and cut the root off and then very gently washed each leaf. I spun them dry as best I could and then laid them out on paper towels and got them as dry as I possibly could. Then I did the rest of my prep work. The original recipe calls for green onions and water chestnuts, which I did not use, and some onion. I add the carrots. That's my addition. Be sure to read all my notes in the recipe link. I made these lettuce wraps two ways. I used a half a pound of ground turkey for Tim and the rest of a package of Morningstar veggie crumbles for me. I went ahead and browned the meat. Once the turkey was browned, I took it out and drained it. I used the same skillet and cleaned it out. I decided to make my sauce in here since I was cooking two proteins. I didn't want another skillet, so I went ahead and browned the vegetables. After the veggies were soft enough for me, I added the garlic. Use fresh if you had it. I had jarred. Some soy sauce, or I always substitute liquid aminos. And then the hoisin sauce. The original recipe calls for minced pickled ginger, which I have never used. I've always used the squeezed ginger that I find at Walmart, and then the rice wine vinegar. And then you would use your choice of an Asian chili hot sauce, or I use a little bitty squirt of sriracha. I mixed it up and tasted it, decided we love hoisin, so I added some more hoisin. I taste and adjust as I go. At this point, you would just add the drained turkey back in, but since I was making two different kinds of protein, I just sort of eyeballed some of the sauce and added it to my Morningstar veggie crumbles in the back, and then went ahead and got it as wet as I thought it needed to be. was hoping I would have enough left for the ground turkey for Tim, and I guess I've been cooking long enough. It worked out. I added the turkey back, and he had enough sauce, and I did too. At this point, you would add your water chestnuts and green onions if you were using them. The recipe, the original recipe calls for adding the sesame oil while it's still on the heat and cook it a little longer. I've never done that. I always take mine off the heat and add it at the end. I'm going to mix up the dipping sauce. I should have done this earlier, but I'm waiting on my sides to cook. So it is rice wine vinegar, sesame oil, soy sauce or liquid aminos. The original recipe calls for a tablespoon of sriracha. I'm just going to use a teaspoon because I am a spice wimp. And as I mentioned before, the recipe with all the ingredients is listed below. So to serve the lettuce wraps, if you want to be a little on the fancy side, you can put all the lettuce on a big platter and the meat in the middle and everyone can serve themselves and get some of the dipping sauce. I'm going to go ahead and make up my plate. This is the one with the ground turkey. I'm going to use the one with the veggie crumbles and I'll show you my plate. 
As always, thanks so much for stopping by our channel, Let's Cook Y'all. Hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe if you hadn't already, and come back. We've got some more cooking videos, what's for dinner, grocery hauls, and meal plans. Have a wonderful and blessed day, y'all. See you in the next video.